Hi guys, this is SDJRSNF88 speaking. We're a review of the unrebuilt West Country class from Hornby. The unrebuilt West Country and Battle of Britons have always been popular models, with new names and running numbers being added to the Hornby range over the years. This is no exception for 2014, 15 and 2016. The West Countries and Battle of Britons were designed by Oliver Bullied as a lighter version of his Merchant Navy class. They incorporated a number of new developments in British steam locomotive technology, including welding in the construction process and the use of steel fireboxes. The first members of the class were rolled out in 1945 and by 1951 a total of 110 locomotives had been built. 60 members of the class were later rebuilt, much like the Merchant Navies before them, replacing features such as the bullied change driven valve gear and removing the air smoothing. All members of the class were withdrawn by 1967, with a total of 10 locomotives entering preservation. Currently, there are four unrebuilt West Countries and Battle of Britons in the Hornby range, including R3115 Exeter in BR Early Green, Hornby Club exclusive R3249 Manston in BR Early, R3300 Sir Winston Churchill as part of the Sir Winston Churchill Funeral Train Pack, and this sample R3310 Bude in BR Late with extended smoke deflectors. Naturally, this model is from my local model shop, Signals Models of Midsummer Norton, for £134. The model comes in the standard sleeve and ice cube packaging. Inside is one of the largest detailing packs I've seen to date, featuring brake rigging, vac pipes, chain link couplings, front steps, lamps, root indicator discs, front NEM coupler, and even a driver and fireman, which is a really nice addition indeed. Though the tooling has been around for a number of years now, the model still holds up to many of the more recent releases and captures the striking air smooth design of these beautiful locomotives. The model throughout features a good level of detail, including well represented smoke box door and body, separately fitted smoke box dart, sprung buffers, finely applied handrails and pipe work, detailed cab interior, well for rivet detail, plus well represented iconic bullied styled wheels. Like the model itself, the livery is also finished to a very high standard, with finely applied BR orange and black lining, neatly applied BR lake crest, well represented name plates, perfectly legible shed code, and power and weight classification. Performance straight from the box is superb, with the West Country running smoothly and quietly in both directions, thanks to its powerful five-pole motor. The model also makes no hesitation over point work, thanks to its tender pickups. For those of you wishing to operate the model on DCC, the socket is also now located in the tender. All in all, the unrebuilt West Country is a superb model in the Hornby range, with its great level of detail, well applied livery, and excellent performance, it is a must for any southern region modeller, or, in Bude's case, anyone wanting to recreate part of one of the famous final rail tours on the Somerset of Dorset, like myself. This has been SDJR, Senef88 speaking, and thanks for watching.